Hey everybody, this is Paul. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a customized prompt in your Bash terminal. So as you can see here, I just have the default prompt that comes with my computer. In my other videos, I have the words Paul Programming show up right here, but I'm using a different computer and I haven't yet set my prompt. So as I was about to do that, I thought I would share with you guys how to go about changing your prompt. So right now I'm in my home directory, but if you're not there, you can just move to your home directory by typing in CD space tilde. So that moves you to your home directory. And then inside of our home directory, what we want to do is we want to open up a file called .bashrc. So I'm going to use Vim to open up this file. You can use whatever text editor you would like, but I have Vim installed and I don't think this file exists yet and Vim will just go ahead and create it if it doesn't exist. So I'm going to open up .bashrc. And as you can see, the file's empty. So what I want to do inside of our bashrc file is I'm just going to type the line capital P, capital S, the number one equals quotes, and then whatever you want is your prompt. So I'll put Paul programming for mine, and I'll do a colon and a space and then end it with a quote. Now I'm going to save my file. And as you can see, the old prompt is still there. To get my terminal to recognize that I've instructed it to give me a different prompt, I'm going to type in source. I want to source my bash RC file. And as you can see, my prompt has now changed to Paul Programming. So that's pretty cool, but what happens when I close my terminal and then I try to open up a new one? My prompt goes away. So what's going on here? So let's take a peek. If we look at our file, we can look at it by typing in the cat command. And I want to look at the file that's in the home directory. So that's the tilde, brings us to the home directory. And then inside of this directory, we want to look at the bash rc file. So this is just going to print the contents of the bash rc file. And as you can see, our instruction is still there. So why didn't it go ahead and change our prompt when we opened a new terminal? Well, there's another file we have to change, which is also in our home directory. That file is called .bash underscore profile. So I'm already in my home directory, so I can just open my file with Vim by typing in .bash underscore profile. If you're not in your home directory, you can navigate there by typing in cd space tilde like we did earlier. Or if you're not sure, you can always just go ahead and append the tilde and the slash to specifically say you want this file within your home directory. So opening up my bash profile now, in here, I'm I'm just going to give it the instruction to source my bash RC file. And just to be safe, we'll instruct it that that file is located in the home directory. So now we'll go ahead and save this. And it's still the old prompt, but that's because the bash profile runs when you first open the terminal. So let's go ahead and close this terminal and we'll open a new one. And now we can see our customized prompt is once again there. Because this time when we opened up the terminal, it looked at the bash profile and it realized that it had an instruction in there to source our bash RC file. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully now you can create your own custom prompt. Have an excellent day. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.